If you're exploring MBA programs or you're about to start one, chances are there will be one or more capstone projects that you have to complete before graduating. In this video, I'll explain what these are, what you can expect from them, and how you can best prepare. So let's get to it. A capstone project refers to a major standalone group project, usually in the form of some business case that you complete during your time in the program. Now, typically this project happens near or at the end of your program. This is really after you've taken most, if not all of your coursework. And to graduate, you will need to complete and pass the capstone project. Now, while it is a project, it's usually paired up with a specialized capstone course. This may sometimes be the same length as a standard course, or it also may be quite a bit shorter, anywhere from two to six weeks. But ultimately what this capstone course and project is designed to do is to bring in all the material that you've learned in your MBA program and apply it to a business challenge or business opportunity. So what can you expect from such a project? Think of it as a business consulting project where you are given a scenario of a business that would like to accomplish something or solve some kind of problem. You're then given a number of details about the company, the opportunity or challenge. These may come in the form of financial metrics, uh, there may be some other details in there that may or may not be relevant to the challenge at hand. Part of the fun is deciding in what is truly relevant in this case, what are the details that you're really going to focus on, and what are some other bits of information that are extraneous, maybe not that important to the problem at hand. From this, you analyze the situation and you come up with a recommendation or set of recommendations for the company to pursue to address the opportunity or challenge. Now the course format is designed for the professor to introduce the class or really the groups of students to the business case, the guidelines that you'll work within and any deadlines that may be associated with the project. At the end of the course, you then present your findings, your analysis, your recommendations to the professor and to the class. And in some cases, if you're actually doing a real world case study, you may be presenting to the company itself. You'll then be assessed some kind of score on the basis of the logic behind your recommendations, the recommendation itself, and the presentation. I do wanna emphasize it's less about the conclusion that you come to and more about the logic behind it because there's a lot of different ways to solve a lot of different problems. There's not necessarily a quote unquote right or wrong answer. Now I'd also say that the score itself that you get is not terribly important. Really these courses are on a pass fail basis, but this is not an excuse to just blow it off. You want to do well for yourself. You want to apply what you've learned. And of course, you've got a team that is depending on you to do your best work. And to add to that, networking is a really big part of the MBA experience. You don't want to be the teammate that doesn't chip in or doesn't do their fair share of the work, or doesn't make meaningful contributions. Simply put, you don't want to burn those bridges. And lastly, you wouldn't want to get through the entire MBA program only to get to the capstone and just fail it and not graduate when you intend to. That would be a not good outcome. So put in the work, make it productive for yourself and for your team. So how do you prepare for a capstone project? Going into it, the main preparation I would recommend is to simply compile all the resources and all the notes that you've gathered over your time in the program and have them ready so at the start of the capstone course, when the professor is presenting to you the business case, you can already start thinking about how you're going to plug in certain bits of information and data into the frameworks that you had learned about and used before. For example, you'll likely be doing some kind of financial modeling in just about any business case. And to make it easier on yourself, you can simply pull up some previously created Excel templates, whereby as you learn about the case, you learn about the the metrics that are involved, you can simply plug in those numbers. Now, I'm oversimplifying that whole point just a little bit, but the underlying message here is that you want to be prepared with the frameworks in hand, ready to go and have productive conversations as soon as possible with your team, which is the other part of preparation 
That is to have an established cadence, regularly scheduled meetings with your team to ensure that you're meeting milestones. Well, first you have to create the milestones, but that you're meeting them and you're making progress throughout the course of the, well, the capstone course project. Having those frameworks in hand, having the division of responsibilities on the team, and then having a regularly scheduled meeting with your team to ensure that progress is being made, this is going to give you the best chance of success with the capstone project. And it's also going to be the way that this whole experience is of value to you and beneficial to not only yourself, but also your teammates. Now, apart from capstone projects, if you want to learn a little bit more about the experience that I had with my MBA program, which happened to be all done online through the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, you might wanna check out these videos next to see if this program or perhaps another online MBA program is right for you.